July 17th. What, what a, a night. night. <laughs> We're celebrating with a little beach evening. There's Katie. Okay, Katie, I had this idea. Facebook Marketplace. And I found several small robots. I want to get a little oh, robot. I thought you were talking about the small world idea. No, a small robot. I'm going to get a little rowboat, and then I'm going to hitch it to the back of my car, and I'm just going to roll places with the rowboat. Until August 4th. Kate, we have to do this on August 4th. Because it's July 17th, August 4th, and there's one other day. Our journal. I did, I had my journal as a prompt. And you know what? I was gonna bring mom's too. Oh, that one. Because I actually have my mom's old journal from I think it was actually 1983. Yeah. What do I know? This is another Donna piece that took me literally ages to find here, can you? The, um, the water part of yeah, July 17th. And now we're gonna go home and make Greek salads and watch Mamma Mia. To finish the night. Both of them. <laughs> <sighs> okay, thank you. Yes, good girl. There you go. This way. You're so beautiful, huh? You're the most beautiful girl in the whole world, yeah. Stay. Break. <laughs> yes, good girl. So I just dropped Sammy off the groomers, which never gets easier. I don't like it. But naturally, I have two vlogs to upload, but I really want blueberry muffins. I didn't get one from Starbucks this morning because they were out, so we're going to do a quick little blueberry streusel muffin situation. Okay, I don't know if we have blueberries, I don't think this is going on. I feel like you guys, there are a lot of sides of me that you've never seen before that we're going to explore on this new era um, of Sarah. Baking and cooking, you've already seen the cooking a little bit. If I could cook all day, every day, I would. I love cooking. 
um, the dog training aspect as well. <sighs> Who I am, just kidding. Um, okay, quickly do this so that I can edit. I failed at my goal. My goal was to do the entire thing before the oven preheated, but I didn't do too bad. I mean, the oven just beeped like three minutes ago. I'm pretty good. I'm, I, you also shouldn't be using a, a spoon to do this. I really am trying to use the least amount of dishes as possible. Okay, that was too many. Our streusel, big mess over there. To be taken care of at some point, but I will deal with it. Okay, I had way too many blueberries. That took me way longer than I'm willing to admit, but now it's time for the fun part. Recommend a fork. I use my hands and just, anyone else, like whenever I'm baking specifically, cause I did so much baking with my nanny when I was little. I just hear her voice in my head of being like, don't, you have to like fill them all evenly, otherwise they're not gonna bake evenly. Or um, fold in the blueberries, don't like mix them in because, because we made like blueberry muffins a lot. I remember we used to always do it from like a box mix. And then my nanny would always have like fresh blueberries because she would be like, those box blueberries are terrible. You have to have fresh blueberries. Yeah, see, this one's going to be overdone because I filled it way too much, or way too little. Nanny would not be happy. And then for good measure, because it's me and I oversalt everything because I love salt. Just a couple of flakes. Beautiful. Now we clean. Pretty. Do you like peaches? Are you the peach dog? No, he doesn't like peaches. You don't like a peach? Huh? I love you. Instead of the peaches, do you think I could take him home? Literally. Huh? Hi. He's so cute. This is the best peach I've ever had. They're so good. Do you have good peaches on your farm, honey? Yeah. I'm gonna hug you. I just sit here all day with you. Oh, yes, I just sit here all day with you. <laughs> Should we go find some peaches? No? Is it hot? Is it hot? Go find some peaches. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Bye, Angel. We'll see you later. Well, honestly, this has been, uh, um, have had. My next career field, I think I'm going to be a peach farmer with these people. Like, if the hunt could live 10 minutes away. Peaches. Did you steal that peach, little oh, man? Big man, look at my camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> hey, Paul. <laughs> we went and picked peaches at this peach farm that I found. It was blast. They had the cutest dogs. There's one of the dogs was just in like little like farm stand area, and the other one like hopped up on the tractor and came back to pick peaches with us. Just like in the farm store, petting him, and then he went up and he picked a peach out of a barrel and started eating a peach. And it was really cute. We're at the pool now, and it's fun. We're gonna make some like peach cobbler ice cream or something tonight, like some peachy dessert of sort, because we have like three and a half pounds of peaches. Eight pounds. Eight pounds. That's what she weighed, eight pounds for 30 dollars. <laughs> it was a great deal. We're gonna deal. be making a lot of ice cream. 
the end. <laughs> Salad time, everyone. So then we finally just started like picking bread. Guys, I'm pretending to be Matilda Jerf today and I think I'm doing a really good job at it. One to ten, how's my look, Katie? <laughs> Katie's mad at me because she wants to go to the pool. We're going! Just making a quick lemonade before we head out. We had our little bike ride, it was a lot of fun. Um, and now we're gonna go to the pool. I'm gonna read my book. Oh, I have to read my book. I would have completely forgot. <laughs> the cousin dogs? Yeah. We're gonna go on a long trail ride. Yes, we're gonna go on a trail. Mm -hmm. Lots of good snips. Oh, fuck, I didn't bring shoes. Thank you. 